Okay, we're looking at averages here um, in grouped uh, data, okay? So, a few questions we've got. Modal class is the first one. Now, mode, you already know, is the most common, most popular, whatever you want to call it, okay? So, essentially, we're looking for the group that has the most stuff in it. So, modal class, or, okay, modal class would be... Uh, where's that on the highest frequency? Now, don't be tempted to go for the frequency that appears the most as eight. Actually, nine is the most. So, there we go. So, naught to ten. Now, the class containing the median, okay, class uh, in containing median. Now, I've got to be careful on space here. Now, we already know that to find the median, we put stuff in order um, and then pick the middle one, ultimately. Now, there's no real difference here. It's already in order, the data, okay, because it's 0 to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. So it's already in order. We need to find where halfway is, essentially. Now, this adds up to 30, okay? So halfway up to 30 is 15 and a half. That's another conversation. But essentially, we need to go um, add up the frequency until we pass halfway. So up to this point, we have 15 people. Okay, where am I going to write that 15 there? Up to this point, we have 17 people. So I have now passed halfway. And so therefore, class containing the median. So the median is in here somewhere. Okay, it doesn't really matter where it is. When later on, maybe year 11 or whatever... You might um, be asked to estimate where the median is, okay? But at the moment, you don't have to. But it's in that group somewhere, all right? Because I've passed halfway. Now the last bit is estimate the median, the mean, okay? Now what we have to do here, because we don't know exactly the time each of these thirty students take, we just know that these nine are within 1 and 10, and these 8 are within 10 and 20. We have to assume every one of them is right in the middle of the group. And so therefore we find the midpoint. Now, if the midpoints here are pretty easy. It's 5, 15, 25, and 35, isn't it? They're slap bang in the middle. Okay, it's not so obvious. You just add up the limits and halve them. Okay, so what I'm going to do is uh, 5 times 9... So actually, I need to label it, don't I? Sorry, so estimate, oopsie daisy, there, sorry. There we go, estimate mean. Okay, so we do 5 times 9 plus 15 times 8 plus 25 times 8 uh, plus, uh, what's that, 35 times 5. All divided by now. Common mistake here is to divide by how many groups there are, but that's not actually how many students there are. There are 30 students, and so therefore I need to divide by 30. And actually, funnily enough, that comes up as a really nice number, 18. Now, often you'll get point something, all right? That's fine for the mean, all right? I know you can't have point, point something of a person, but in this case, it's fine, all right? Anyway couple of things to remember there, so uh, have a look again if you need to.